Port Patrick here was for a very long time the main port for Ireland, facing the Irish coast as it does. Often packages and parcels from Ireland landed here and had to be collected by courier. One such courier from High Ardwell came to Port Patrick to pick up a package. As he travelled back home, he was stopped by a woman dressed in white on the road. She stepped out into the road in front of him, making his horse shy and turn his cart on its wheels. The first time she did this, horse and man were frightened but unhurt. The second time, the cart broke a wheel that the courier had to patch up. The third time, with the broken wheel already making their going very difficult, the horse simply refused to go on with the cart. The courier cut his reins and leapt onto his horse. When he turned to check to see where the woman had gone to his horror, he found she was seated right behind him on the horse. He tried to confront her, but she disappeared as soon as he spoke. Unfortunately for him, this was not the end of it. Time and again, she reappeared behind him, now and then whispering entreaties to him to let her kiss him. He tried to ignore her, his heart banging a tattoo on his ribs every time she reappeared. Eventually, the courier couldn't stand it any longer. He promised that he would embrace her, but only if she would come to the little back window of his cottage the next night, as he wanted to give himself time to think of a way out of it. The very thought of letting the mysterious woman kiss him was terrifying. So, the next night, the courier waited for the knock on the window, clutching a thick cloak into which he had put the skull of a horse on the end of a pole. When the knock came on the window, the canny courier opened it cautiously and pushed the hooded horse's skull through it. The woman in white bent down to kiss the skull and there was a terrible, sickening crunch. The front half of the skull broke away completely from the rest, but the courier was saved. The woman in white turned away in confusion, muttering, Hard, hard are the banes and gristle of your face, and disappeared into the night.